All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm excited to have you guys back here today, especially for this video. I'm, I'm sure you saw by the title, we're gonna be interviewing people on a college campus today. But anyway, we're gonna go straight over to the campus right now and start interviewing people. So let's go. campus right now uh, we're gonna go to Southern Miss like USM obviously because that's where I go but we're gonna go ask some people some questions I'm really curious to see how this goes because <laughs> I don't know if people are gonna be as excited about it as I am so I guess we'll just see I don't really know yeah we're gonna ask some people some interesting questions I think that they'll be kind of cool I don't know I think the questions are interesting so um, yeah let's go mess with some people man let's go see what people think about life all right, all right, we got our first person here. What's up, man, how you doing today? I'm doing good. Awesome, all right, so I'm here with? Devin. Devin, all right, I have a question for you, Devin. Mm -hmm. So, if a plane is flying, right, and it crashes, right, and they land on the border of Canada and the U.S., where are we burying the survivors? Where did the train leave from? It left from the U.S. heading to Canada. The US. So we're gonna bury the survivors in the U.S.? Uh, depends on which side of the border we're on. It lands like smack dab in the middle. I'm talking like it's flying and it happens to crash right in the middle. They say it's right in the middle. Where are we going to bury the survivors? Take it to international court. You want to take it to that? You don't bury the survivors. Woo! Well, I mean, it's between their borders, right? It's up to them. So that's where we're going to... All right, yeah, so we could... I mean... You're talking to a political science major. <laughs> All right, so I just have a question. Mm -hmm. Why are we burying survivors? Hmm. <laughs> They survived, man. Why are we burying the survivors? You know what I mean? I mean, just, you know, maybe it was shot down by the military, you know, they need to hide the evidence. What? Yeah, because they're witnesses. Witnesses to what? Uh, to the plane getting shot down. The plane didn't get shot down, it just crashed. How do you know? Because I saw it. Really? So it just crashed, everyone survived, but you're saying we're going to bury the survivor, we got to talk to the government. Why? Because it's at the border. But they survived. You wouldn't bury survivors. Ooh, smart. They're not dead. We don't bury survivors. All right. That's a that's an interesting answer. I didn't. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for your time, sir. I appreciate your answer. Very intuitive. Very thoughtful. Thank you. Parkour is on. All right, Jeremiah wanted to show me his parkour. Yeah, that was pretty sick. Okay, so we can't really. People aren't seeming to want to answer our questions right now. So we're gonna go outside the gym and see if we have any better luck. I'm asking like fitness stuff, so I'm assuming the thought process is that outside the gym, more people will be willing to answer fitness questions. So let's see how that goes. All right, so I'm here with Mara and Mia. Nice, nice. All right, so do you guys prefer fit bods or dad bods? Dad bods. Can I do like a little combo? Like what does that mean? What does that explain? Arm, little belly, you know? Little, little belly? Little combo, yeah. Like, so like? Like like a like a D lineman, specifically an edge type bod. Standing here with? Kinsley. And? Shelby. And? Neely. Fit. You're not into like, no, you're not into no love. You just like fit, muscle guys. Respect, respect. Fit. Fit. Just, just fit. No, and you guys are into like muscles and yeah. stuff? All right, so we got no dad bods around here. <laughs> so a big boy. Yeah. <laughs> she likes big boys. You don't. You're like more of like. I like a, my boyfriend. Your boy. Little, that, little. If a guy's in the gym and, you, and you're working out, right, and he sees you from across the gym and he's interested in you, how can he get your attention in a way that you would like respond to? Like it has to be a certain exercise. <laughs> no, like. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing. Nothing really. Like you can't like come talk to you. Should he talk to you during your workout? Like during the I set? Mean, like should he ask you to like like? Not while I'm doing my set, but like in between sets. It's like fine. in between sets, if he comes and says something, it's not gonna like bother you. Like that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> like how can he show his interest to you? Oh. Like anyway. He can come help me. He can spot me. Yeah. Ask you if you need a spot. Yeah. That's a, I didn't think about that one. That's good. All right. Well, you guys heard it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we got a good amount of answers. Hopefully, you know. Hopefully that was entertaining. We had some good stuff going. 
Um, it's kind of dark now, though. I was going to ask more questions, but, like, it's kind of dark. I might do a part two of this. If this was entertaining and it does well and, like, you guys want to see another one, like, just watch it and like it and share the video and stuff. And I'll probably do a second part of this. And if you want to see specific questions, just, like, comment or let me know or shoot me a DM or something on Instagram and we can ask specific stuff. So, um, appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.